Tonight in medical rounds, more than a million people will be diagnosed with cancer in the year ahead. But with precision medicine, more targeted treatment and newer options like immunotherapy, there is more hope than ever before, especially in the often deadly diagnosis of melanoma. Dr. Omar Eaton just joined the Hartford Healthcare Cancer Institute to launch the Melanoma Center, bringing leading edge treatment, including immunotherapy and the latest clinical trials. Good evening to you, Dr. Eaton, and thanks so much for being with us tonight. Thank you and good evening. So first off, what exactly is immunotherapy and how does it work? Well, uh, immunotherapy is an effort to coax your own natural immune system to attack tumor cells. Um, and the way it works is we, in, we can infuse antibodies um, and soon maybe other drugs that will actually uh, block the inhibition of those immune cells from attacking the tumor and then make the tumor uh, uh, or, uh, disappear uh, in many cases. That makes sense. Um, what is it about melanoma that we see immunotherapy works so much better than in other cancers? Well, the good news is it's not just effective in melanoma. Melanoma is where it all started um, after a century of research. And uh, luckily, we're hearing FDA approvals now in so many other cancers. Um, so uh, it's not, not in every cancer. Uh, we're seeing effects in, for example, uh, the smoking cancers like lung cancer or bladder cancer, head and neck cancer. Um, but uh, we still have problems and we're trying to make progress in going after pancreas cancer and biliary cancers and certain colon cancers, although some colon cancers have certain genetic mutations that make them very amenable to treatment with immunotherapy. And doctor, who is most prone to developing melanoma? Um, usually folks who are um, of northern European descent uh, fair skin, blue gray eyed, red head, some, uh, not, not, these are not individually self limiting. Um, there are even black people who can get um, melanoma, for example, on the palms and soles. Um, and the, uh, um, there's an epidemic in melanoma in folks over the age of 65. Uh, people get a lot of blistering sunburns when they're young. Uh, going to the Cape, for example, around noontime when you shouldn't be in the sun between 10 and 3 uh, is a, when you're young, getting all those blistering sunburns can lead to melanoma in later years. Um, and uh, those are just a few examples. There's also a genetic version of it that's rare, but those folks usually know they have family members with melanoma. All right, some very good information there, Dr. Eden. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. We appreciate